merging arbitrary get parameters in Rails is insecure. And as we'll see by the end of the video, it's something that even a library with over 50 million downloads can get wrong. Here's the site we'll be working on today. Say we want to sort these posts alphabetically. When we'll receive another param, I'll just append another scope. It's not the cleanest way of doing it, but it's good enough for what we need. Then, in the view, I'm going to create two links for ordering that will pass either an ascending or descending order param. I'll just extract these to a helper as we'll tweak them shortly. And then call the helper instead. And now we should be able to sort posts by title ascending or descending. When we're trying to make a search though, and then we try to sort things, something's amiss. The query param we had earlier gets discarded. So we need to make some changes to how we generate our ordering URLs. We could try to merge the query param from the search, but its name might change. Or as we add more filters, the list will need to be updated. Or maybe we might not even know which param we should whitelist. If, for instance, we are writing a library, the obvious solution is just merge the already existing params. Calling merge directly won't work because these are an instance of action controller parameters and need to be permitted. We can, however, convert them to a hash using do unsafe h. Now we should be able to make a search and then sort it. Awesome. However, what's not so awesome is that we have introduced several security problems. If we pass a host parameter, Rails will use it when constructing the URL. Now, when I hover over the ordering links, you can see they point to google.com. To make matters worse, when combined with a protocol param, this allows execution of arbitrary JavaScript code. Clicking the link will execute the code from the get param. Nasty stuff, but the solution is quite simple. Generate a relative path instead of a URL. This is done by adding the only path option to the URL generator. Now sorting should work fine again, even with these params. But we're not done. There's also a script name argument that can be used to unknowingly lure users to other domains. Blacklisting this is quite straightforward by calling accept and passing script name. And now it works. Things don't end here. The ledger known original script name parameter does the same thing. It's so obscure that no one noticed it missing in the Kaminari gem, which I'm using for pagination here. You can see it's affected by the same issue. I'm going to blacklist this parameter in my order by function. Now that should be taken care of. As for Kaminari, I have submitted a patch and this video will be published only after release with the fixes out. So if you're running an old Kaminari version, update immediately. Merging params can be tricky, especially in redirects, but hopefully this was of help. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and stay safe.